The U.S. House of Representatives overwhelmingly voted to increase COVID-19 relief checks for most Americans. The vote Monday now sends the bill to the Senate, where the outcome is uncertain. President Donald Trump reluctantly signed a more than $2 trillion government funding and pandemic relief package on Sunday, but not before demanding lawmakers increase $600 payments to Americans to $2,000. Democrats who favor the boost had settled for the smaller $600 payments in a compromise with Republicans over the big year-end relief bill. The vote divides Republicans who mostly resist more spending, but many House Republicans did join in in support. The World Health Organization head is calling for an increase in genomic sequencing of the coronavirus after new variants have been detected in Britain and South Africa. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said at an online news conference from Geneva, quote, only if countries are looking and testing effectively will you be able to pick up variants and adjust strategies to cope. He said the WHO is working closely with scientists across the world to better understand any and all changes to the virus and their impacts. British officials have said the new coronavirus variant first identified in the country is more contagious. It has led to increased lockdowns and a wave of global travel restrictions on Britain. On Monday, more countries, including Finland and South Korea, detected their first cases of new coronavirus variant. U.S. authorities said passengers arriving from Britain must test negative for COVID-19 three days before departure. That new order, order effective Monday. Russian officials said Monday that the country recorded more than 240,000 more deaths in April through November 2020 than during the same period last year. The number is significantly higher than the country's pandemic death toll of 55,265. The excess deaths could include deaths from COVID-19 that were not officially confirmed by medical examiners. It could also include deaths from other causes that could be linked to overcrowded hospitals caused by COVID-19 or other coronavirus effects on society. South Africa's president, Cyril Ramaphosa, has reimposed a ban on alcohol sales and ordered the closure of all bars in the country's fight against the coronavirus. While the nation deals with a surge in cases, it is also battling the new variant of the virus. In a new, in a nationwide address Monday night, Ramaphosa also announced the closure of all beaches and public swimming pools in the country's infection hotspots. Those include Cape Town, Johannesburg, and several other coastal areas. The president says South Africa is also increasing its nighttime curfew by several hours, so all residents must be at home from 9 p.m. until 6 a.m. A Saudi court has sentenced prominent women's rights activist Lujain al Hatul to nearly six years in prison. A state-linked news outlet said Saudi Arabia's anti-terrorism court found al Hatul guilty of agitating for change, pursuing a foreign agenda, and using the internet to harm public order. al Hatul called for reforms such as ending male guardianship laws and allowing women the right to vote, which they now can do. Last year, the government did ease guardianship laws and allowed women to get passports and travel. al Hatul has been in prison since 2018 after she was arrested, along with at least a dozen other Saudi women's rights activists. al Hatul continued to advocate for human rights from jail. She also alleged she was tortured and sexually assaulted during the interrogations. Three French soldiers were killed after a roadside bomb blast Monday in Mali. The French government said the soldier's armored vehicle struck an explosive device in the Hombori region. The soldiers were part of France's Operation Barkhane mission, which is fighting an Islamist extremist ex insurgency in Africa's Sahel region. U.S. stocks rallied Monday. Each of Wall Street's main indexes closed at record levels after President Trump's signing of the long-awaited budget bill that increased optimism for an economic recovery.